So over here, if I were to go around onto my blog page, then you can see that I only have one page right now. And just like a website, you can have multiple pages in your blog as well. You can maintain it as a website as well, rather than just a one page blog. So in order to do that, you need to go around onto your dashboard and then first go around under layout right here. And once you do that, you may want to add in a page list. And over here on the page list section on the top, you can see that the pages gadget is turned off. You need to go around and turn this on. So to do that, I'm going to go around and click on edit. And then I'm going to go around and say navigation as title right here. And you can see home is the default. So I'm just going to show this widget right here. So once I do that, I can go around and hit the save button right here. And if I were to go around and refresh, then you will be able to see the navigation and home right here. So the home is the default page right here. So you can see that that is what you have. It says it has been removed. That is because the link has an error. Let me just go around and copy out this particular um, um, uh, particular address right here and go around under navigation and you can see that it is still here. So uh, you can see that it's due to tube example. So th uh, the address is an error. So I'm just going to go around and paste this out right here. So let's just delete this item, add a new item and have home right here. Uh, and you can see that the address is already there right here. So I don't need to actually paste that out. So if I were to go around and press save, now I won't have that error. As I, uh, I actually updated out the URL previously, so you saw that error right here. But now if I were to click home, then it goes to home right here. So how about adding up other pages? So in order to do that, you need to go around onto the pages section now, as you can see. And uh, you can see that I have about us and then fact as other pages right here. So now I want to go around and add them out over here under my layout. So you can go around and add in new page as well. Let's say, for example, you want to say um, uh, services right here. Uh, services um, in this space, um, we list the services that we provide. So we can go around and say something like this over here and hit the publish button and confirm. But if I were to post out pages like this, then it won't show up directly right here. You do need to add in the pages in the gadget section. So if I were to go around over here on the layout section, you can go around under uh, the page list, then go around, click on edit. And over here, you can add in a new item. So what I want to do is add in, let's say, for example, services. You see the list of pages right here. So you can add in services page right here. You can add in another item fact right here and you can add in another item like about us right here. So let's say I want about us on the top. So I'm just going to say move item up right here just like this. You can go around and edit this item as well. So you can simply say uh, frequently uh, asked questions as well. Ask and questions right here just like this. So this is what you have. And you can hit the save button and hit the save button over here as well. Once you do that, if I were to go around and refresh it, now you will be able to see the navigation over here. Like you got the home, you got the services over here, with op which opens up the services space. Then you got the about a section that opens up the about uh, a space and then click on frequently asked question and it opens up that page right there. And that is how you can go around and navigate around uh, different pages as you like and then make it a website as you can see uh, easily as well. And that is how you can work around with pages gadget inside of Blogger. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.